Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Dave. Um, we actually have kind of a sad case today, although I think we can make it into a happy case. Um, we had this little bitty kitten that was found um, at a house where somebody was hoarding cats. They found like 50 cats being hoarded. Really pretty sad and um, like dead cats and cats running around everywhere. But we have this really awesome cat organization here called the Hill Country Cat Coalition. It's like their mission to save the cats of the Hill Country. Um, and they rescued one of these kittens from it. Poor little thing is super, super scared. What's going on is she's got a, a viral respiratory disease that's really common in cats and kind of nasty shelter situations or boarding situations. And it, she's got really bad eye infections. One eye, I think, is going to be totally fine. She has another eye. Her right eye looks really, really bad. And I'll show you here in a minute. And I'm a little bit worried that she may have to have that eye removed. Um, but I think what we're going to do is, is start her on some antibiotics, both uh, systemic and also in those eyes. She's feeling pretty good, actually, right now. She's pretty friendly. Um, and um, see how she does over about a week. And then if I need to, we can do surgery later on after she's a little bit bigger and in a little bit better shape. Here's this little kitten, and I can show you her eyes. She, her, she's got a severe ulcer on her left eye. That's her left. But she's just got a just in, insanely bad, uh, I mean, it's just basically destroyed her eye on her right side. This kitty's been here for about a week. She's getting pretty spoiled. Everybody loves her here. She's a really, really good cat. Um, but we are going to have to take that eye out. I think she's going to feel even better, although she's pretty spunky, as you can see. Um, but she should be in a lot less pain and um, get around a lot better. Uh, we've also changed her name, although no one likes this name except for me, because she's kind of a, a red-haired cat. Her new name is Reba Meowkintyre. We got her sedated and on gas, and you can see this is her good eye, and she does have an ulcer there, but um, maybe you can see. But we're getting that taken care of. This is the bad eye, obviously. She's got... She had a really, really bad ulcer, and when she came in, it was like this. Maybe got just a tiny bit better, but her, her cornea is totally destroyed. The, the vitreous, or the stuff that's inside of the eye, is coming out. Um, it's, it's just terrible. She's surprisingly bright, but I think once we get this eye removed, she's going to be even better. Because I'm sure this is painful. Even though we've been giving her pain meds, I, I'm sure it's uncomfortable. So um, We're going to take it out. The surgery is called an enucleation. It's a fancy word for taking the eyeball out. We finished the surgery up, the nucleation went perfectly. She's waking up slowly right now. Um, she looks really good, but most importantly, I think Reba's gonna feel a lot better. Hopefully she's gonna start to gain a little more weight. Um, and I think she's gonna, I think she's not gonna know anything ever happened. And uh, I think she's gonna be a really good pet for somebody someday. Um, so we'll keep an eye on her, uh, give her some medicine for pain. And um, we're gonna keep her here probably another week or so, just to make sure everything goes okay. Uh, but I, I'm confident that she's going to be fine. It's been a couple days since the surgery and Reba feels like a million bucks. She's uh, in beast mode right now, going kind of crazy, but that's good. She feels great. It's healing wonderfully. Uh, we're going to take the stitches out here in probably another five days. And, um, and then she's going to go home and probably find a great home and be somebody's great pet. So. Um, I'm really happy with how it's going. Today's the big day for Reba. We're taking her sutures out. Um, she's healed beautifully. Everything looks awesome. And um, she's going to go home or go to her foster home soon. And um, I'm pretty sure she's going to get adopted immediately. She's a really cute cat with a really great personality. Um, so 
I'm, I'm not worried about that, but we are going to miss her. Everybody here is kind of falling in love with her, but it's time for her to go and be out in the world. There's a close-up of the handiwork. Looks really good. All right, guys, me and Reba and Vet Ranch, thank you for all the donations that helped us save this cute little cat. Uh, we hope you keep donating so we can keep doing this, and um, we'll see you on the next case. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough And you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong, babe I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too I don't walk right and